Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is Lily here and today I am here with a Target Dollar Spot some, uh, fun summer things I've picked up so far that I've seen pop up in my Dollar Spot. Now they were behind, they barely just started getting this stuff I think last week. I kind of have a cold or allergies, I can't quite figure it out yet so I do sound kind of snuffy stuffy. So if I don't sound that great I'm really sorry but I'm going to go ahead and try to get through these things and then I have a fun um, friend mail I received back on my like right around my birthday which was at the beginning of April so I wanted to show that to you guys also and um, possibly a project share I don't know if we'll have time but we'll see what we have time to do I'm gonna get through my Target dollar spot haul and show you guys what I picked up so the first items you see here are these cute little pillows they were in the little kitty section of the dollar spot and I actually just picked these up because Axton really liked them they were down there low enough for him to reach so of course he just started throwing them in the cart and then when I laid my eyes on them, I could not take them back out of the cart because their little faces were too adorable. So I decided to just pick them up and use them on my couch for a summer theme. So I got an item or two from the Dollar Tree to mix and match with these things to make my little... I always just change up my living room, you guys know. I'll add a few pillows, change the little signs, and try to be under $20 to just spruce it up for the season. So these will be up all summer long in my living room. So we did pick up the pizza because Axe said we could not leave the pizza. And I got the ice cream cone, that one's really cute. The popsicle I think is my favorite just cause he looks like he doesn't give a hoot. And I like the donut of course cause it's really cute. So these will just be spread out on my couch. Looking cute. The next item I grabbed um, when all this stuff was out was this gorgeous bright yellow serving tray. I usually will place one of these on my coffee table with like a vase of flowers or something cute on here also. And I didn't have a yellow one yet from the dollar spot. They had hot pink and I already have some sort of pink I think so I'm going to go ahead. <laughs> And stop busting rhymes. I'm gonna go. I went ahead and got the yellow so that I can have a different color in my collection And I like that they have like the pretty wood look in here and then I don't know this yellow is just pretty to me So I could use this for like um, Pineapples or when I do golden yellow or something so and I like the shape of this one. It's different. They have like this weird smushed hexagon thingy, so Yeah, I picked up that one I don't want it to fall. The next items I picked up, I'm I think a lot of people have been searching for, and honestly, guys, my dollar spot, multiple locations I went to only had one. I only wanted one, but I just I'm just letting you guys know I only seen mostly the yellow ones. Um, but I wanted the gold and white just because I just thought it looked a little bit fancier and pretty. So I picked up a bowl, and it's a pretty big bowl, um, pineapple bowl. And then I also was lucky enough to find one of these little pineapple here with like a little canister. So this guy, I believe was $3. Yes, that was a $3 item. And this one was a $5 item. I would think that they would be the same, but this is much heavier than the little canister there. So I did pick up one of each of those. All right, since there's only two of these types of items, you guys know I always pick up these little stir sticks to keep in my little coffee bar and we use them also when we're making like little mixed drinks. Um, I usually find them at the 99 cent store, but this year when I saw them at the dollar spot, I went ahead and picked up these ones. And there are pineapples and flamingos, so those will go in my little coffee slash drink making section. I also did pick up some of the stationery. It was too hard to resist. I've been trying to cut back <laughs> on all the stationery, but sometimes they just... <laughs> You cannot resist their little faces. I don't know, they're just too cute. So I picked up a package of those. I hope it was just one, I don't wanna be lying here. And then one package of the pizza and hamburgers. I'm gonna switch hands really quickly. Um, I also picked up, oh, Axton got himself a cute pair of sunglasses, which he had to try on in the store, and they have pizza on them, matches his little hat he got. I posted a picture of the little pizza hat he found in the dollar spot. I also picked up one of these hamburger notepads and then I grabbed there was another one of those somewhere. Oh, I picked up the popsicle one and these items are each a dollar so it's like hard you like can't resist getting them and then by the time you get to the register you're like oh my god it's like $80 <laughs> on all this dollar spot stuff and then the next I think I only picked up one pad I hope I only picked up one paper pad but knowing me I'm sure in another bag somewhere I found something else so we'll get to that as we go along this was also a dollar and it's the popsicle little notepad and these things were kind of interesting I picked up three of these because I probably will use them for friend mail and I don't know if anybody else 
you know, sometimes our dollar spots seem like they put stuff in different places and some people see it and some people don't, but these are actually little flashlights and I got one of these to keep uh, near my purse and one of them to keep my near it on it. On like strap it inside my purse or on my beach bag because, you know, sometimes when the sun goes down and you're outside and you're looking for something and beach bags are so deep, you know, you're digging in there, it's got like a little flashlight. Let me see. So yeah. You can shine this little light and look around in your beach bag or if you need it to look around in your car for something, if you're missing something you know you need to find. It's just kind of handy to have it. It looks like it can get wet because it's that plastic coated um, vinyl like stuff. But I thought that was pretty handy. So I picked up um, a hamburger of that. I also picked up the popsicle. I should have tested them all. I don't think I did. I was just trying to keep it with him. I cereal right here. But everybody can have him anyways. I don't know how to get that one to work. Hold on, X. And then, oh, there we go. So that one works. So we just gotta get the popsicle to work. Oh, there we go. See, and then the popsicle works. So you can dig around in your beach bag or give them, have them as, you know, little gifts. Party favors even if you're having like a summer party. Those would be cute in a little goodie bag. I'm gonna go get Axton what he wants to eat and I'll be right back. All right, the kids got what they wanted and now we are moving along here. I did find another paper pad, a little notepad, and it is just the little hamburger one, so that's not too bad. I'm trying to get my camera to focus here, but you know how it does me all the time. So yeah, this one just says party notes, and then there's a freaking hamburger. So that one would be cute to write like grocery list or something if you're gonna have a barbecue or just to give away as a friend now. So there is that. Um, I found these little pins and I had to resist the urge to buy them all. I just picked up the mermaid one to maybe put on my beach bag or use it for a friend mail somehow, so I grabbed her. Don't wanna lose that, so small. And one item that was randomly found, but it was not in the dollar spot section, was a roll of these um, three pack washi tapes from Spritz. They rang up 60 or 90 cents, I can't remember, but I couldn't pass them up just to have an extra one. I really like that last one there, it's super cute and springy, so I did grab that. And now will be the fun pool stuff, so. What I found for the pool stuff were some wraps and beach balls. Um, Kaden picked the slice of pizza, and these are fairly good size. Now, last year, I did buy the ones from the Dollar Tree, and guys, they lasted maybe a week. The plastic they were made of was real flimsy, and and jumping on them and throwing around the pool, they like they had holes in them within a week. So I did not want to repurchase any this year from the Dollar Tree. I just thought it was junk and a waste of money. These ones were five dollars from the Target Dollar Spot, and I can tell just the weight alone that these are going to be better quality. And it is a pretty big size. So Caden wanted the slice of pizza, so this is a 23 inch slice of pizza by 37 inch. So that'll be big enough for him to get on and float around in the pool. I asked Axton if he wanted one and he did not. He picked the beach ball, but I myself picked the donut for me just to goof around on and maybe just hold on to while I kick around and get a tan. And that one also is a pretty 33 inch diameter. I don't know if that will float my big butt, but I'll definitely be holding on to it. <laughs> and then Axton picked a clear beach ball with sprinkles and it has the ice cream cone on it. And I thought this was so adorable. And these ones were only $3. So. The beach balls were $3 and the big rafts were $5, so you can't beat that for a seasonal raft. I did grab a little popsicle bag here just to keep some things in, maybe the suntan lotion or glasses, whatever have you, in our beach bag. So that is the only one of those that I picked up. And then this, guys, I don't know if anybody else has hauled this. I'm sure they have, but this was the first time I saw this when I went there. It looks kind of boring, and it's just like a big, heavy mat, but when I read what it was, I thought this was really cool. It is actually a beach mat, or I'm going to use it for keeping in my car when you're going to... Um, on little picnics or somewhere you know like sometimes I take the kids to the park and there's no benches and there's just grass and I like to actually sit on the ground in the grass and just kick my feet up and sit in the sun so I thought this would be cool to have always in my car for those types of uh, you know occasions and also put it in my beach bag when we do go to the beach this summer um, and it is really thick material it's like a canvas and it is huge so it just folds up and then the velcro keeps it together and it has a little handle on it and this could fit easily underneath your seat or anything just for those emergency mom visits when you stop at the park or um we are going to go up to red rock here in vegas and go take a picnic before it gets too hot so i thought something like this is just nice to put as a barrier on the ground whether it's wet or soggy or hot here it would be more hot than anything 
and for five bucks I thought that was a really good deal so we did pick up this picnic blanket and they had it in sharks and I think there was plain ones if you didn't want any pattern on this but the, only the flap itself has the pattern the mats are all whatever color you choose but just a few of them had this on it and I thought that was a really good deal so there was that I also picked up a few of the sticker pads I do use stickers a lot so this purchase wasn't like hard to justify <laughs> I put them on all over my packages and lots of stuff so these were really cute ice cream truck pack I picked up two of those I believe I already have the mermaid one somehow the mermaid one got put out early and I already have that one and then um, I picked up a pirate one for the boys or for my other you know friend mails and stuff so there is that the other items I have for you guys I think they're from the collection before are Maybe they're included in this one, but um, I've had them for a while. I just haven't had a chance to do my video. And they are these plastic little pouches, and they're completely sparkly glitter on the back. So I grabbed that one. And then one of these also was going to be for a friend mail. And then this one is black on the back. So I thought those were cute just to have. Anyways, you can put your lip glosses or sunglasses, whatever you need to put in there in those. So that is um, it for my Target dollar spot. I will show you my Dollar Tree items. I only have a few, but... I wanted to show you the signs that I got all these little funny pillows for so you could see kind of where I'm going with that. And then I'm going to show you my friend mail. Okay, so these two signs here were found at the Dollar Tree, I think, last week when I went. And see that bright yellow and the sunshine and the summertime theme going on here? That's the main reason I bought these. Now, I have this big mirror right here. Um, and see, I have an Easter <laughs> sign there. And then there's one on that side. And I usually put this living room decorated like that I usually put a you know whatever theme I'm going with I put a sign on each side of that mirror and then I'll have a little table my little drink tray set up to match see the colors like perfect and you know what a couple little items that match with that in there and then of course my little cute hamburger or my ice cream donut popsicle and piece of pizza will all be on the couch with this tying all the colors together so I thought that would be cute to have set up for the whole summertime theme. I probably won't change it again until we get, what, Halloween? <laughs> I usually don't change it after after Easter and then the summertime theme stays and then after that it's like Halloween, Christmas, Valentine's Day and those months I change out my decor just a little bit, alter them here and there. But anyways, I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I did find some new stickers at the Dollar Tree. I just popped in there for some envelopes as usual and just always, I just like, maybe I'll find something today. And I found this really cute pack of stickers. It has the unicorn and the shoe and the little princess doohickey there. And then I did find these cute summer themed stickers. They remind me of the ones that were uh, like this last year, but they're a little bit different. So I picked up, I think, <laughs> I picked up three of those. You guys know me and my flamingos and tropical stuff, so it's hard to resist. And um, I was on the hunt for some of these for a friend, but that was the only one I could find. And I came across the emoji collection they had going, so I definitely picked up a pack of these stickers. There are over 500, it says. And yeah, there's different stuff on the front and in the back. And this was the first time I had seen this, so I picked up this sticker book with the princesses in it. I thought it was super cute. There's a holographic little area there and it's got those princesses. And that is it for my Dollar Tree stuff. See guys, my Dollar Tree has not got too much going on lately. There are a lot of summertime, the dishware and all that, but I think the boys already started using the little cups we hauled from there and they're really not that worth showing <laughs> to me. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead now and show you guys my cute little friend mail from Bunny Birdie Gator. She is also a YouTuber, and you can also find her on Instagram. But I wanted to show you guys the little things she sent me for my birthday before it gets too far out here. And I just thought this was really cute and definitely share worthy. She sent me a package right around, um, it came actually right around my birthday, and I call her BBG, but her name is Bunny Birdie Gator, and you can find her here on YouTube, and you probably will want to go find her after this, because she sent me this really cute, for all my hedgehog lovers out there, she sent me this really cute grater that is the shape of a hedgehog, and this 
actually works really well. I grated some cheese for chili cheese dogs the other night because I was too impatient and I just wanted to use it. And um, it actually cleaned up really well and it grated the cheese really, really fine. It melted. It was so finely grated that it melted really, really fast. So I thought that was perfect for chili cheese dogs or if you have tacos and you want the cheese to melt. But I don't know where she got this. You should definitely go over there to her channel though and check her out and um, ask her where she got it. And she also sent me, also in this cute, fun summertime theme I got going here, some cute socks. There is a pair with the pineapples on it, and then these ones have the other fruit. And I hadn't seen these, and I believe these are Dollar Tree. Well, one of them is Dollar Tree. But super duper cute. I love those. And the card she had sent me was with um, these, the summertime theme from last year at Michael's. And I absolutely love these cards. The artwork on here is gorgeous. So I won't read you guys my card. I will just show you what she gave me. And she on the card were these cute little anchors attached to it. So that went with the little anchor theme going. She also sent me this adorable, look at this pen guys. It's a pineapple with glasses. I have a gift bag from Ross I got like a few months ago that this actually probably matches perfect. I have to go dig it out. But it is super duper adorable. So there is that little summertime pen. And she also got me this really cool, I haven't taken it out of here because I don't want it to get beat up and I don't know where I'm going to put it yet, but it is like a, I guess I could put it in my kitchen. It's a little hanger where you could hang like, you know, like, I want to say I would hang like my pot hanger or you could hang whatever you want from it, but it's pretty heavy. It's a gold pineapple and it's got a little hook on it so you can hang it up. But anyway, I'm going to go on too far about that. So anyways... Thank you, Mimi, Bunny Birdie Gator. Um, you guys definitely need to go check out her channel. She has lots of unique, cool stuff. And um, she's really sweet and nice and like her a lot. Go check her out. And that is it for my mail. Um, I guess I can have... Let me check the time and then if I have time, you'll see me back on here with my project share. All right, guys. I did have a minute left to show you guys what I got going on here before I mail this out. There will be more available. I just, this, someone already got the first one, but there will be, I think, like three more. I will list them in my Etsy shop as usual for you guys. Um, I will probably try to make another free shipping code for you guys, and I'll put that in the description box below. So do look for that and also the link to the Etsy shop of mine. So first of all, obviously we can see it is lovely, gorgeous unicorns. All of us cannot get enough of that. And this is like my third um, unicorn set here. But this one actually has unicorns on it. The other ones were just color inspired by unicorns. But this one actually is unicorns on it. So here is a ribbon here with the unicorns and popsicles and all the fun stuff there. And I tried to incorporate all the colors you would think a unicorn would have and also stay matching the ribbon without going too crazy, which is hard when you're doing unicorns. But that there is my tassel and there's a crazy piece sticking out to the side. Here is uh, one of the matching paper clips and they will have randomly colored, um, what is it? Randomly colored <laughs> paper clip colors there that go with that box that I had been searching for. This one is a holographic unicorn horn and it's got the little ribbon bow that matches. And then there is a flag clip and also it will be a randomly selected color metal there and then there will be a band and the band is going to say um, must believe in unicorns or I was gonna do unicorn hair don't care or a band that had that like I said the must believe in you I think the must believe or I believe in unicorns would be better because I was gonna have another set in mind to use the unicorn hair don't care but um so this is that set here, and if you're interested in checking out all the different things I make in my Etsy shop, just go ahead and look in the description box below. It is Impala Girl Trends, all one word. They don't have you separate the words on Etsy. And yeah, message me over there or chit chat, whatever you guys want to do. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you will subscribe to my channel, share with your friends and family, and leave me a comment below, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.